Yo, you got in my shot. I was pretending to get mad at you for riding through my shot. What is good, YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to another episode of Senior Year. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys five tricks that you can learn right now. I'm not saying if you've never skateboarded before, you can pick up a skateboard and learn these tricks first try. But what I mean is, if you have at least a basic foundation and you're comfortable riding a skateboard, I think that you can learn these five tricks probably in one day. I'm here at the Middlefield Skate Park. It's freezing, winter is coming. Let's do it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, I was going to say. Mason, am I correct that you learned heel flip today? Yes. Wow. Congrats. Yeah. Okay, so the first trick I have in mind that you can learn right now is the bean plant. So this is a foot plant slash grab trick that is pretty easy to pick up. I actually learned it very recently. Shout out to Silas, a kid who actually comes to the skate park. Taught me it in one day. It's a bit tricky figuring out exactly where to step and where to grab your board, but let me break it down real quick. So you step off the side of your board with your front foot and you kind of create pressure with your tail so that once you step off, the tail kind of pops up. Then you take your front hand, grab the inside of the board, and then simply propel yourself off the foot that's on the ground and jump back on the board. It is a really sick and honestly a trick that's trending right now. Out. It looks very cool. You see it in Instagram clips all the time. And I think what's so cool about the fact that you can learn this trick pretty quickly is that it has unlimited potential. You can do this trick down gaps, out of grinds, into wall rides. You can get so creative with the bean plant. So I highly recommend you take the time, get out there, and figure it out. is the body burial. So this involves literally just jumping and spinning your body 180 degrees and landing back on your skateboard. And obviously that's not too hard to figure out. And the reason I put it in this video is because like the bean plant, it leads to a ton of trendy and cool looking possibilities. So you can do combos, do it on transition, ramps, ledges, rails, like literally unlimited possibilities. You can also just figure out cool, like quick feed variations with the body burial on flat ground, like doing a trick and then quick doing a body burial after or even like doing a body burial and then catching the nose or tail and doing a revert right after so that is definitely another trick that is pretty easy to pick up and can lead to a whole host of possibilities I almost died that's no good what it is intended when it's said that uh, life has to have a purpose. Let's get it, George. You blazing out here, George? I'm blazing these tricks. <laughs> The next trick I want to go over that you can learn right now is the drop in. Before you get confused, let me explain. If you cannot drop in, all you have to do is find a small ramp like this one here at the skate park. And I promise you, you can learn how to drop in in one day. All it takes is practice and commitment. You really just have to lean forward and commit. Drop in time? Yes. Most people, the first time, don't lean forward enough. So you really got to like really send it, you know? Lean forward as much as you can. That's good. You have to lean forward that much, maybe a little more, like all the way through the ramp. I think I might have it. Send it, yo. What? First try. That was lit. Hard flip time. The next trick is hard flip. I'm just kidding. <laughs> As I'm sure many of you already know how to drop in, when you go to the skate park, there's often like different levels of dropping in. No matter how big of a thing you've dropped in on, there's always the next step. So wherever you are in your drop in life, whether you've never done it before or whether you've dropped in on a ton of things before, seek out that next step. Just gotta commit. 
The next trick that you can learn right now is a freestyle trick known as the primo stall. This one is a bit tricky, I'm not gonna lie, but once you figure it out, it is not too hard. And there are actually two ways to do this one. One is where you take your toe and push down on the board and then kind of step onto it with each foot one at a time. Or you can push the board forward with your toes and kind of hop onto it at once. But what I think is really cool about the primo stall is it's also pretty easy to learn how to flip out of it. And this can be especially cool if you've never landed a kickflip before because the primo stall to flip out, it can be the first experience you have with jumping up, having the board flip under you, and then committing to the landing. And that is actually like, one, a fantastic feeling, and two, it gets you used to committing to flip tricks so you'll be better prepared to learn the kickflip. So I encourage you to watch these examples. They'll show you how it's done. This trick is actually kind of hard. Mason learning it right now. Yeah. Yes. Some people can like primo to primo. There's always a risk factor. I've never done that in my life. I'm gonna hold it until you land it. Oh my god, okay. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Oh, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> a trick you can learn right now is the no slide. I remember when I was starting skating, I thought the no slide looked so cool and it's one of the easiest slide tricks you can learn on the ledge. What I think particularly makes this trick easy to learn is that you don't necessarily have to pop into it. This is like a great way to introduce yourself into getting onto a ledge and sliding a trick. You literally just lift the tail up so the nose reaches the height of the ledge and then shift your weight onto the nose. I definitely think you can learn that trick right now. That's how I learned no slide. My name's George, and I'm going to teach you how to no slide. So those are five tricks that you can learn right now. I encourage you to pick one of these tricks that you have never done and go learn it right now. What's stopping you? Be consistent, be dedicated, have patience, and try really hard, and I believe you can learn these tricks right now. What are you waiting for? But smash that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for me first. Okay guys, I'll see you on Monday. Spicy apple juice. This is not like Yeah, you know, I could do that in my sleep. Bruh. Oh my god. No. <laughs> no, that's not it. No, redo, redo, redo. All right.